Hello everyone, this is Xana Sham and this is part 25 of the WoW Let's Play. I'm sorry there haven't been many updates over the past few days. There's been, uh, my parents have been going on holiday and there's just been a massive chaos around the house and I've been spending ages cleaning because there's a huge mess here. So I really haven't had real time to actually narrate for anything. I have been able to um, play a little bit for which means that there is a ton of content coming out. I think I'm up to level 31 and I'll be narrating over those in the time being so there's plenty of content for the coming week. Uh, and I'm currently level 48 at the moment where, but I haven't played for since yesterday so I'm not quite sure um, how many videos it might be until the end of this Let's Play but I assume we're going to be finishing around episode 42-ish. I don't really want to make like a prediction but I think it's around level 42. Um, episode 42 is when we're actually going to be uh, finishing. Um, in this video we're going to be doing not that much questing. We're going to die here but um, in this video we're going to be going to Scala Monastery Cathedral and we're also going to be doing a little part of Scholomance which will then be continued in the next video and because Scholomance is such a Scholomance is such a massive instance. Uh, Scholomance is actually going to take almost the entirety of the next video as well to actually do. The quest here was just recovering some of the old items um, of Red Path's um, le um, legacy. We've got Red Path's shield, um, Red Path, uh, Davil's Libram, and I think that was the only two things here we needed to get. Was that the only two things we needed to get? I think that was the only two things we actually needed to collect for. That, yeah, no, there's something else, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, he was of Darush, I returned the Chrome, made Crown Guard Tower in Eastern Plaguelands. Yeah, we just needed to collect the um, heroes' artifacts here. This is Ryan of the Scenarian Circle. She's trying to clean up the uh, the plagued area here in the Fungal Vale. Unfortunately, the Fungal Vale is full of undead slash evil scourge things and the cult of the damned who are still plaguing the entire area stopping our life from continuing so we have a ton of quests in here we have to do we have to go in here to collect some fetid skulls and then turn them into resonating skulls however I didn't actually know what these fetid skulls were for so I end up deleting some of them if you notice in the video why the hell am I deleting the skulls for the killed of the mobs that's why because they didn't realize they need to use the crystal in order to create a resonating skull the other quest is to collect um, is to ki destroy free plague disseminators. We're not going to be doing that in this video because I think very soon we're going to be going to Cathedral. We're in Cathedral now in the queue. So in a few seconds we're going to get to the option to go into the Cathedral. There we go, Cathedral. Um, what you need to do for that quest, however, is you need to kill some Cult of the Damned members around there. They'll give you an item and then you need to use that item to knock the Plague Spreaders out of the sky and it'll make a massive kablooey and it'll just like fall to the floor. Uh, the quests, well, we did the, we did actually get a quest here. There's two quests in this instance, one at the beginning and one in the middle. It's just quests for random kill quests in this dungeon. Um, this has changed quite a lot since I remember it. I didn't, I didn't remember there being undead forsaken mobs in this area before. But there's also a mass amount of, mo uh, of mobs actually re removed from the instance. Now, I understand why, maybe because they wanted to make this the same... A, the same speed of completion as some other similar dungeons in this area but I don't understand why they've taken out so many packs because from what I remember it wasn't that hard to kill them before but I guess it's something to stop over aggro but even before this place has been nerfed with the removal of mobs even if you pulled like three or four packs you could probably survive even as, even if you had a half decent tank it even before all this patching and stuff it was a very very easy instance and I do remember some stuff where like even level 40 paladins with a decent amount of healing could pull the entire place and that was um, quite awesome but unfortunately you can't do it anymore because there's very very little mobs so if you actually pull the boss and all the mobs heard you it won't actually be that many so it's uh, it's kind of a shame that they've cut off so many mobs I understand maybe it's kind of boring to kill so many packs or packs of random NPCs for no apparent reason but it, it, it loses the epicness and this becomes kind of shit to be honest maybe there's a low reason i.e. there's less Scarlet Crusade now i.e. most of the Scarlet, the Scarlet Crusade are almost completely finished as a group but still even with the half assed low thing that may or may not have anything to do with anything most probably not have anything to do with the design choice of having so few mobs yeah, it's kind of just disappointing, to be honest. There's so little. Um, these are the these are the bosses. What the female will come out, the female priest will come out, or priestess. 
Is she? A, oh, she's an inquisitor, isn't she? I can't remember. She's a. She. She's basically a holy priest. She comes out, um, heals the her de heals the dead um, crusader, and then he comes back to life. You need to fight fight down the crusader. Then she comes out. You nuke her down, and then he gets resurrected. Uh, so yes, this, these are the plague disseminators you need to do. Just uh, attack the disseminators after you've killed some of these shadow mages. You just loot the crystals off their corpses. Uh, yes. Is there another quest you actually need to do here? Yeah, the other quest is Amidst Death Life. You need to go in every single ziggurat and then just use all this satchel of herbs and then you can uh, create life inside the ziggurats. I don't understand why that's even done. Maybe it's just like a fuck you to the horde. Uh, uh, well, it's not to the horde. That would be kind of silly because it's done. this is the uh, scourge. A fuck you to the scourge by uh, putting life right in the middle of their cauldrons of unlife. Or D life, or whatever the hell the word is for that expression. Yes. If you can't tell, this is very late at night when I'm actually narrating this. Uh, yes. Um, we're going to be going to Scholomance, I think, soon. I think I'm going to go into the queue soon. Because I do remember when looking past over this footage, I remember we were going into Scholomance incredibly soon from now. Uh, this is all you need to do to get the festering skulls. You need to kill these scourge champions. They'll drop a fetid skull and use the mystic crystal on the skull. Um, sometimes it'll give you a resonating skull. Sometimes it'll just give you bone fragments. Most of the time, though, you will get a resonating skull from it. But these mobs are incredibly easy to kill, so it don't really make that much difference. Yes. There we go. After you complete all those quests, you just hand them in at the Scenarian Circle woman down here. You hand them in to her. Well, you can't. Don't actually. You don't hand them in to her. You have to go all the way back to the, uh, to the Chromie. Apparently, yes, we need to go back to Chromie. I don't know why I thought that was the same as uh, that was for the Snarin Circle woman there. Um, the quest we got here is villains of Darashire. These are these um, dead like spirits who are reenacting past battles. Um, against the Scourge in the battles for Darashire in this area when the Scourge were fighting the humans who used to live here. Uh, you just go to the, you just go to both um, instances of where they are having their reenactments. I'm not really sure if they're having their reenactments or whether you're actually looking back into it, back into a time stream where they were fighting, or maybe they are just spirits and they're just continually fighting and they can't go to the next life. So you just connect, collect both of the fragments, both of the items from both different uh, spiritual reenactments and then you just give them to Chromie and you hand all the stuff in and I don't know why I'm not in Skolomance. Yes. As you notice now, I, when I leveled in this video, we did manage to make these Kassalamanche creature became green to us, which means it won't do that much uh, won't give that much experience anymore. Uh, one brilliant thing about Skullmance is the amount of quests you get for this instance. Even if you don't level from the um, experience from all the mobs you have to uh, you have to kill in this instance, you will probably level up from the combination of that experience and the amount of uh, questing. In fact, the the questing the quests are actually so so well done that the only one you might miss is the uh, what's it called the the deeds to Taran Mill, I think these are the deeds to Taran Mill, which are found in this room, and there isn't the boss in this room. At least I don't think there is any. There might be a rare boss in this room, but I doubt it. You just go into this room, and you have to kill a few mobs in here in order to collect one of the quest items. And this is only the this is the one of the only ones you might miss if the tank doesn't really want to pull this room. Uh, as you notice, you're getting a ton of different uh, drops from this instance. If you actually were an enchanter, that might be a useful upgrade for you. Uh, yeah, deed to South Shore. This is the only deed that is found in a location that there isn't any bosses directly on the way. Um, but there's so many wings this instance, and there's so many bosses you can kill. It's usually a good idea just to do a full roundup. This room I've always found really freaking annoying when leveling. Yeah, you have to kill the necromancers, because if you don't kill the necromancers, they'll continually spawn... Uh, uh, skeleton, skeleton mobs, and sometimes if your if your group is incredibly dumb, 
or doesn't kill the mobs, or you've got incredibly low DPS, or someone's got an AFK, he'll continually spawn skeletal mobs, and it'll be completely overrun by ridiculous amounts of them. This is one of the reasons you don't... You, usually it's not a good idea to pull this entire room, while if you've got a really, really good tank, it might be a good reason. It might be a good idea on different instances, or in different packs inside this instance, in this room, I'd say be conservative, because those necromancers are incredibly freaking annoying. Um, this is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in part 26 of the playthrough. Uh, if you want to like the video, please like. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. And if you want to comment, please comment. If you want to follow me on Twitter, there's a link in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.